start. Damn. Hello again, welcome back to Illegally Cited. This is BGFH, and I'm back for another iOS app video. And today I want to cover a helpful little tool if you guys are still in school or need to do a lot of uh, math. Uh, I'm going to cover a talking scientific calculator today. Uh, the iPhone does come with a calculator built in, but if I remember correctly, and I might just pop into that at the end of the video as well to show you, um, but I believe that one doesn't have quite near the features this it. one does. And if you just Double do a search in the app store for Talking Scientific Calculator, this should come up. And really, it, it is just what it uh, claims to be. Uh, it's actually a really, it does it is self-voicing, so uh, you can use it with voiceover perfectly fine, but you are going to get a little bit of overlap as far as you'll, you know, you'll hit a button and then you'll hear it talk. Um, but it's also useful for, you know, let's say someone isn't low vision, but maybe they have a learning disability or something and they still want to be able to hear what they're hitting, uh, what buttons they're hitting and things like that, so... A yeah, nice little app. So basically what we've got, um, we've got the display Zero. at the top. Zero. And you heard the, let me turn it up a little bit because the calculator voice is a little bit quiet. Zero. Zero. So you hear a male voice say zero. Volume of the spoken voice. 100%. And the volume Adjustable. is at 100% right now. Swipe up or down with one finger to so adjust the value. I'm just going to flick to the right. High and low contrast toggle. Button. High and low contrast toggle. So I'm going to double tap this. Right now you can kind of see that we got a lot of blue buttons, a lot of green buttons. But if I double tap this. High, contrast. high and low contrast toggle. High contrast. Now everything is really a lot more um, single colored. You got the white back or the black background, white letter uh, numbers, and the kind of minimalist colors going on here. Which, in a way, I actually kind of find it a little bit harder to read because I like light contrast. High and low contrast the light, toggle. the light contrast. I actually kind of like because you've got your numbers that are blue down here, and then you've got your green section, and they kind of it, it splits things up a little bit easier. So I actually think it's actually easier to see without the high contrast myself. But there you go. If I flick to the right again, radians button. Radians. Standard entry mode. Button. Now there's a standard entry Calculations mode. Calculations will be performed each time an operator is selected. Okay, and now I can also, if I double tap that, formula. Formula entry mode. Oh, you're not going to tell me the. Radians. Formula entry mode. Button. Calculations will be performed only when the equals button is selected, and will use the rules of operator precedence. Okay. Standard. Standard entry mode. So you get the idea. You can change between, like, you know, if you need to do a little bit more complex formulas, it does support that. Actions icon. Actions. Square root. Square. Cube. To the power. One over. Log base E. Log base 2. Log base 10. Page 2 of 5. Previous panel. Next panel. Oh, dear button. God. I didn't realize there was actually more panels. Well, we're not going to go through those extra panels because... Root. E to the power. 2 to the power. 10 to the power, exponent, left paren, right paren, percent, memory clear, memory plus, memory minus, memory reveal, plus, minus, times, divided by, 7, 8, 9, clear, 4, 5, 6, back, 1. So you get the idea, Three. Um, in the lower left you've got your numeric keypad, and then on the lower right you start out equals. with your equals in the bottom right corner, you go up from there, backspace. you got a backspace, clear, you got a clear, Divided by. And then across that, like from left to right, you have your plus, plus. minus times divide. So it's really just going to be a matter of, you know, exploring by touch. Slide your finger around the screen to figure out where the buttons are that you use the most often and kind of where they are. Minus. So, you know, Zero. that is Zero. a... So let's just do... Five. 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 Minus. Plus. Uh, times. Times. Five. Nine. Nine. Equals. 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 Forty-five. Okay, it was, like I said, that voice is a lot more quiet from the voiceover voice for some reason. But it did say forty-five. And if I touch up on the top or... Forty-five. 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 So it does actually, um, you can just touch the panel again up there 
to hear the result as many times as you need. Seven fraction digits. Max. The other thing that you can do. Actions icon. I'm going to go to action. Alert. Paper log is disabled. Now this is kind of interesting. Enable paper log. Button. Enable paper log. I'm not exactly sure what that does, but I think it just keeps track of like in a file. So like if you're wanting to do calculations and you need to turn that into a teacher, you can track what you've Enable been doing. Enable keyboard. Button. Enable keyboard. So I can actually use an external keyboard with this. Settings. Button. Settings. Help. Button. Settings. Let's Button. go to settings. Landscape. Now, the settings Hold thing is a little right. bit weird, I think. Um, the settings window has got a lot of... Done. It Button. goes into landscape view for some reason. Settings panel number one. And... Max fraction. One of three. Voices. Button. There, there's a back button. Done. Or a done button, button in the upper left. There's a voices button in voices. the upper right, which is kind of neat because at first I was thinking, you know, like if I go in there, settings you can choose two, between like button. different, button. different um, voice settings. So like, you know, it's got like voice set one, voice set two. Built-in voice, one of five. P custom voice recording number one. Custom voice recording number two. Custom voice, built-in voice. One of five. So that's actually kind of neat because, like I said, originally I'm like, why would you do that? But actually it does make a lot of sense because you can get this app and you could add your own voices. So let's say that somebody um, is learning English and they still need to be, you know, going to school and use a calculator. Uh, you could record all these numbers and keys and things in their own language. Um, you could do that. Or maybe if they hear, you know, a certain you know, a male voice better or a female voice better or, you know, different things like that. But I, especially the other language thing, I think, is where that could really be helpful. Done. Um, done. So let's go done. 1,234,000 international numeric formats. So the main settings I can choose, like my... I, I've got three columns worth of settings here, and I can choose my... International numeric formats. International numeric formats... Digits mode. Digits mode. Max fraction. One of three. Peaker item. I don't Adjustable. even know like what some max of these fraction. are. One fixed fraction. Two of max fraction. So I'm gonna One leave these alone. Di what? Digits. Okay, digits. Seven. Eight of thirteen. <laughs> okay, digits. I think this is where you can tell it how many digits past the decimal point you want to have. Done. Button. So you know, I'm not going to delve too deeply into that because okay. some of it, like I said, I'm not even sure exactly what it's going to do. But there are some kind of cool features in there. And like I said, the voices thing is actually kind of neat if you need that kind of functionality. So if it doesn't support a language, you can actually have somebody record that for you. That is the Talking Scientific Calculator app available in the App Store. I believe it does cost a few dollars. Uh, I think I picked it up on sale one time. Uh, let me see how we're doing for time. App switcher. App switcher. Ah, that's not what I Top wanted. I apologize. Blindness folder. X rack. All right, we've got enough time. Home. Let me pop Social back book, into the home App Store. screen, Utilities and I'm going to go into Speed Voice Map Dropbox Sky Drive Contact uh, Calculator. Let's go into the Apple Calculator. Calculator Result Zero. So. Just to show you the difference, um, this is the built-in iOS calculator, which is not bad. It does work. Um, result, zero. At the top, I have my results again. Memory clear. Memory add. Memory subtract. Memory recall. Multiply. Divide. Plus. Clear. Seven. Eight. Nine. Subtract. Add. Equals. Okay. So basically, yes, this is going to be more of your basic calculator. It's not going to do all of your scientific functions. So if all you do need is just to do some, you know, simple basic calculations, the built-in one will work fine. It does work with voiceover perfectly fine. So if I, again, if I do five, five, five nine, let's see, subtract, multiply, times, selected, multiply, seven, seven, seven Equals. equals result 35 35 result perfect 35 add subtract and where is my memory clear recall. again Memories, memory memory clear clear there we go 35 so clear is just above your seven, seven. all clear 
and now when it, because I have it cleared now it turns into an all clear so you know again um, this is the built-in utility built-in calculator but you don't have near the options so you know for a lot of people this may work but if you are in school where you do need a lot of you're taking some math classes or science physics chemistry statatistics anything like that talking scientific Home. calculator utility. Um, utility you can get it a lot cheaper than item. you can you can get that app a lot open. shut up you can get that a lot cheaper than you could a standalone scientific calculator and still be able to use your phone um, because uh, on average I think the calculator x -rack. Uh, a lot of standalone talking calculators Ready. happen to run a couple hundred dollars at least, uh, if I remember correctly. So, just something to keep in mind there. But, um, yeah, that is a quick look at the built-in and the talking scientific calculator app available in the App Store now. Hope you guys found it helpful, and until next time, I will talk to you guys soon. Stop.